Scotland. It's a beautiful day. You can see what the beanie, the colors, the colors, the temperature is, is slightly dropping. You see that by the colors of the leaves, we're in autumn, we're going towards winter. And although I went to the mountain yesterday, two days ago, to look for some autumn pictures, I think all the trees with the autumn leaves are in town. Now we have a lovely pond here. And there's a beautiful tree there. Yeah, though, like I said, and I'm gonna come here to take pictures of the palace. Now I'm looking at trees. Well, the palace will not go away. And then life will just get better. But only at seven o'clock, six o'clock when the sun set. Maybe now we'll do some autumn photography. In one way, my goal, you know, when I go out with the camera is to come back with a, with a winner. And then I come back with a, a picture that I can print and then I potentially sell. That is one of my goals. So, and that's done through composition and thinking. Um, I do want to uh, photograph this tree. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm just going to try, I'm going to try a multiple exposure um, in camera multiple exposure. You can see that I go down from where I was, oops, from still image on the Fuji, scroll down to multiple exposure and then I choose always average and then the, the the camera will blend the dark and the light pixels automatically, giving you that final uh, in-camera in multiple exposure image. Like I know on, on the Nikon, you could choose to only get your um, finished multiple exposure JPEG file, or you could keep the raw files. And in Fuji, you don't get to choose. You get your raw files and your finished JPEG. Actually, we'll go up to, I can do 400 ISO, then I'm 400 ISO, I'm on um, 80th of a second at F7. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture and then sort of, try, I'm going to reposition, I'm going to move my positioning, but keep the focus on the, on the tree, on the bark, on the stem of the tree. And then I'm going to try and walk around the tree and take a different picture. And then you'll, you'll see the effect that that creates. So, here we go, first picture. And enough, and I say, um, okay. So you can see that image through, I hope you can see, you can see the first image through the screen, so the opacity is turned down. So you can now layer that picture over your next composition to create really interesting in-camera multiple exposures. So I'm gonna take a couple of steps. I'm going to lay the tree over the tree itself. So you see the the I hope you can see the stem of the tree, we call that thing, the tree itself. Just find the ground again, some kind of level. And then I'm gonna say, okay, move a couple of steps. See, what this does is it creates sort of a blur effect on the branches and the leaves. That just makes for an interesting picture, I mean, Gives me different choices. I can take just a picture of the tree. Oh, finding it hard there. This is a technique you can do in Photoshop. 
and like editing and like photographing. Although I do edit, of course. You know, it's hard finding the ground again. Do it again. Yeah. It's something different. It's something different. We'll still see where that has worked. Okay. I want to go take a picture of just the leaves. I think the autumn leaves with a bit of dough on them. That would make a nice picture. Looking for some red leaves, really. Dry leaves, mm, wet leaves, yeah. Let's see, okay, more. I can do a, you can do different things with leaves. See, there's too many de dead leaves here, the brown leaves. I need just a pile of golden leaves. Just going back to still image. I do have an ICM in mind, doing an ICM. But it's like I just don't find the colors right. Um, maybe here we have the green and the yellow. So I'm gonna go shutter priority. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna go manual. So I can just see all my settings. I find it working like that much easier. So what I want to do is I want to do a slow shutter. So I can drop that down to, I'm gonna go down to one sixth of a second to start off with. And I want, I can go with a high um, F number, F stop, uh, just always mixing up my dials. Um, F16, and I'll just do a test shot. Yeah, it's, it's fine exposure wise um, I can drop the ISO 200 I'll do another test shot that looks all fine okay now here comes the, the ICM photograph while 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 pressing the shutter in shaking the camera around and then that's the effect you get Um, this is definitely a work in progress. You know, I have to, you know, I have to find the right speed and the right amount of camera movement. Um, maybe I have to do some gardening. Position that leaf with a red, maybe where I want it. We are talking about composition, so I guess we must make a composition for ourselves. Maybe that. And now we're going to do a. Um, we are going to go back to multiple exposure and we're going to try something else set to average. So the first image I'm just going to take. Um, so trying to hold the camera still, say OK. And then the second image I'm going to move the camera so I get a bit of a diffused effect. I'm going to do say OK, and I'm going to do another multiple exposure. No, 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 let's keep the leaf. Let's go find another spot. A yellow leaf. <laughs> Maybe another yellow leaf. Here are some yellow leaves randomly placed and a red leaf and we have more yellow leaves coming how random did this happen it just fell like that could you believe it that it would have fallen this beautifully that leaf doesn't want to be there okay adjusting the filter Uh, so, 
1.3 of a second f11 ISO 80, taking the picture, shaking the camera, and then holding it still for the remaining shutter while the camera is open. See, shaking it all the way till the end creates too much of a blurry image. Whereas if I shake it and then hold it still, some of it then gets to, to be in focus. And I'm going to do a multiple exposure as well. Go down to multiple exposure, select average. And we'll do the first picture, shaking and holding it still, say OK. And let me just shake it a little bit less, say OK, and then maybe don't shake it. Just have some camera movement maybe. OK, there we, that's what we got. <sighs> Playing with that idea. No, let me go to store image. Just want to shoot that leaf by itself. Don't want to have a bit of an angle. Just create some depth of field. I'm going to just adjust my f-stop to 4.5. I'll have to take the speed up to 50th of a second, just do a test shot. How I edited this photo and on one photo raw, I open it up in the edit, I apply a crop, I apply Brilliance AI. I apply no noise AI no noise sharpening, just to remove some blur. I select color in color adjust and I select fall to bring out the yellows and I adjust the in the color adjustments I reduce the blues and the greens just to bring it make it more autumn to make bring out those yellow colors more how I want it to be. I then apply a photo filter and I select yellow, just once again bringing it, making it more yellow. Just reducing more of those blues. And then I just, I cropped it tighter. I um, applied screen sharpening and my favorite border and this before and after. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some value out of this. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and I see you in the next video. Cheers.